Hello, Mrs. Spear here. Today we are going to be working on telling time and we're really gonna be focusing on the minute hand for this video. So we know how to tell time to the hour, which means to the o'clock, right? So let's go over just the parts of a clock really quick. The smaller hand or the little hand is the hour hand. The longer hand is the minute hand. So the hour hand points to the hours around the clock. Those are these big numbers. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, or 12, okay? That's the hour hand. Then we have the minute hand, which is super long because it points kind of towards the outside of the clock, which is where we have our minutes. Each one of these little ticks right here or little lines is one minute okay so if i move my minute hand and it's a long one it's pointing outside the clock one line over that's one minute past so right here we have let's read this time first eight and the minute hand is pointing straight up we say o'clock so this is eight o'clock if i move my minute hand and the minute hand always moves this way around the clock if it moves one little line, that means it moved one minute. It's been one minute since eight o'clock. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. So right here, it's been five minutes past. That's why you see this little five here. That's help to help remind us it's been five minutes past. Six minutes, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes past. There's a little 10 there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 minutes. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 minutes. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 minutes past. This is an important one. This is the one we're going to be learning to tell time to today. When it is at 30 minutes past, the hour hand has moved a little bit, as you can see. As the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves a little bit each time. So it is halfway between the eight and the nine, and our minute hand is halfway around the clock. So if I just divide this clock in half, okay, the minute hand would be pointing straight down. So halfway around the clock is the 30 minute mark. 30 minutes is half past the hour and the hour is eight. So it's half past eight or 8.30. I'm just gonna keep counting the minutes just so you can see how many minutes there are in a whole hour. So now we're at 30 minutes, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 minutes. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 minutes. And as you can see, our hour hand is moving a little bit each time. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 minutes. Oops, I moved it a little too much. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 minutes. Sorry, I'm blocking. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 minutes around the whole clock. And look what happened. Our hour hand moved to the nine because when our minute hand goes all the way around, our hour hand moves to the next hour. So now that the minute hand has gone around for 60 minutes, now it is nine o'clock. Okay, let's get back to looking at that 30 minute mark. So here we have nine o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the nine. The minute hand is pointing straight up, which we know is o'clock. Now I'm gonna move my minute hand halfway around the clock. Now our hour hand has moved past the nine and our minute hand is pointing down at that 30 minute mark. So reading this time, I would say nine, because it just passed the nine, 30. Now, something important, because some of my friends sometimes think that this might be at the 10, but it's not at the 10 yet. It didn't get to the 10 yet. 
When our minute hand finishes going around the clock, guess what? Then it will be at the 10. Let's watch as our minute hand finishes going around the clock. Now time goes a lot slower than this, but I'm doing it fast for the video. Now the hour hand is pointing to the 10 and the minute hand is straight up. Now it is 10 o'clock. And if our minute hand then again moved all the way halfway around, okay, the hour hand is now past the 10 and the minute hand is pointing down to that 30 minute mark or halfway around the clock. So we can say half past 10 or 10 30. Okay. I'm going to put a time on the clock and I want to see if you can guess it. So I'm just going to move these around myself. Let's see. I'm going to do this and do this. Okay. What time does this clock say? If you said two o'clock, you are correct. The hour hand or the little hand is pointing at the two. We always read the hours first. And then the minute hand or the longer hand is pointing up for o'clock. We read the minute hand next. So we would say two o'clock. Okay, I'm going to give you another time. Okay, take a look at this one. Okay, the hour hand, we always do the hour hand first or the little hand first. Uh, uh, something I like to tell my friends is when you're on the playground, and let's say you have a kindergartner and you, you guys being in first grade, um, you both want to go down the slide at the same time. Who should go down first? Should you let the kindergartner or the little guy go down first? Or should you push them out of the way and you go down first? You're going to let the little guy go first. You're going to let the kindergartner go first. Same with time. We read the little hand first and then we read the big hand next. So we always let the little guy go first. We read the hour hand first. So our hour hand is pointing to past the four hour, okay? And our minute hand is pointing down at that 30 minute mark. So we would say four, because it's past four. It did not get to the five yet. It's still in the four area, okay? So four and then 30. I just told you to answer that one. Let's try another one then. All right, let's see, I'm gonna keep moving. Let's try this one. Okay. The hour hand is pointing past the seven and the minute hand is pointing here. What time is it? If you said 7.30, you are correct. It did not get to the eight yet, just past the seven. It's moving past the seven and the minute hand is pointing straight down to the 30. So we would say 7.30.